All right, guys, so in the last video, we took a look at arrays in NG4. So we created this users property, which is an array of user objects. And in our component template, we did an NG4 on an LI element, and we just loop through and we're displaying all the user info. So now what I want to do is I want to look at NG if, okay, which allows us to add conditionals to our templates. So we're going to start off with something really simple and we're going to create a new property called show extended and we're going to give that a type of a boolean, so a true or false, and we're going to set it here to true by default. All right, so we'll save that and then what we'll do is go into our template and what I mean by extended is anything past the, the name, so the age, basically this UL. So we can attach to this UL asterisk ng if and set that to show extended and save. Now there should be no change because show extended is actually set to true. So if we were to go, let's say into ng on init after we create our array here, and say this dot show extended equals false and save. Now you'll see that the, the extended information is no longer being shown. Now what would be better than just calling it from here would be having an event connected to a button, but we haven't gotten to that yet, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Now another thing you, you probably want to do is check and see if you actually have any users in the array. So what we would do is go to our, let's see, we'll put this on the UL and we'll say ng if and we can say users dot length and we're going to say if users dot length is greater than zero. So basically the length is the number of users in the array. And we want to make sure it's greater than zero. And then what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll put uh, let's let's do a we'll do an H4 and we'll put an NG if here. And we'll say if users dot length is equal to zero, then we'll just say no users found. So let's save and we're not going to see any difference because there are users. But if I were to, let's say, comment out all the objects in this array and then also comment out the add user because that adds a user as well and save we'll get no users found. Now with, I believe it was in, in Angular 4, they introduced the ng template, which is basically like an, an else template. So if we say um, if users dot length is greater than zero, and then we could do uh, semicolon else, and then no users like that. So what we're doing is defining a, a template for if this is false called no users. So we would go down here and we would put in an ng dash template tag like this and we would add a hash and then the name of the template which is no users and we could say no users found and we could do that instead of doing it this way. And we'll wrap that in an H4. So let's save that and we get the same thing. Now if we were to put the users back, let's go ahead and just uncomment the add user and the users themselves. Actually, I'm just going to comment out the add user. We don't need him for now. So we'll save. And now we have our users back and we don't have that no users found. Now, another thing you might do if you're, for instance, fetching data from an outside source, um, if you're using HTTP and you're making HTTP requests and getting calls back and getting users that way, you may have a loaded option, which will be a Boolean. And you want to initially set that to false. And then what we could do 
is uh, actually let's set that to true. We'll set that to true for now. And then in the HTML in this ng if right here, we're going to say if loaded and users length is greater than zero. And then down here, I mean, we could do another ng template, but I actually don't like doing it this way. So I'm going to just I'm going to comment that out and use this and then not do the else right here like that. I prefer to do it like that. So for the loading, we'll go down and we'll put another H4 and we'll say ng if equals uh, let's say not loaded. So we'll do yeah, not loaded and we'll say loading users. So this is an opportunity for you to put like a spinner, you know, when when something's loading and you have a little GIF that spins. But we'll just have the text loading users. So if we save that, uh, let's see if loaded. Yeah, so loaded is set to true, so we don't see that. But if we were to set it to false, we see loading users. Now, what I want to do is kind of mimic uh, what it would be like if we were to fetch these users from a server that took like two seconds to load or something like that. And we can do that by using set timeout. So I'm going to set this back to true. I'm sorry, back to false. So this should be false by default. And let's go ahead and put a set timeout in the ng init or the ng on init. So we'll say set timeout that takes in a function. I'm going to use an arrow function here. And then it takes another parameter of the time in milliseconds. So 2000 would be two seconds. And what I'll do is just grab all the users. So this whole array right here. And we'll cut that. We'll put it inside the set timeout. And then after the users are loaded, we'll say this dot loaded equals true. OK, so that way it's going to take two seconds for these users to get loaded and then this will be set to true. So let's go ahead and save that and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Cannot read property link. OK, so what we need to do here when we say loaded and users dot length. So when they're being loaded or before they're loaded, there's actually no users there. This doesn't exist. So we need to add a question mark right here to basically say that it's OK if they don't exist. OK, uh, we want to do that down here as well. And save so we get loading users. Two seconds goes by and then the users pop in. All right, so that that gives you kind of an idea of what it would be like if you were to fetch these from a server. Um, and we'll talk about that later, fetching with the HTTP module and using Ajax, stuff like that. Um, but this just mimics it with the set timeout. It just waits two seconds until these the users are, are populated. And you could even do this on purpose if you wanted just an ex like a user experience that it was actually fetching these users and you wanted to put a little spinner. Um, you could do this anyway, the set timeout anyway, but I'm just using it as kind of a test. And then even if we were to take away all the users. So everything in the array we will still get the loading users and then two seconds goes by and no users found because there's nothing in the array. All right, but I'm just going to uncomment that. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how ng if works. OK, now what I want to do is I want to take this add user. And uncomment it and save and it should add that user. Wait, what's this? Cannot read push of undefined. OK, so the reason the add user isn't working 
is because it's taking this dot users and trying to push to it before it's loaded. It's still inside of this set timeout. So what I'm going to do is just remove this set timeout. So we'll get rid of that and then the ending uh this right here. And save and there we go. So now it's they're just instantly loaded. Um, and I still have the this dot loaded set to true. So again, we're just adding the user. Now I want to take away the age and the address. Okay. Now instantly it's going to give us an error because our interface if we go in models user dot ts we have age and address here and we're not we're not passing that in. So I actually should have went over this back in the interface lecture uh, that we can make these some of these optional. So let's say we only want the first name and the last name to be required. If we want to make any of these optional, we can simply put a question mark. So we're going to go like that. We'll actually put them here as well. All right, so all of this stuff is now optional. If I save this and go back to the users component, that error is now gone. If I were to get rid of the last name, we'll get an error because first name and last name are required. So let's save that. Now, this is all well and good, but let's set the show extended. Let's get rid of that so that show extended is true because it's true by default, okay, right here. So we'll save and now we're getting an error here and it says cannot read property street of undefined so basically the use this new user David Jackson doesn't have an age or an address and it's trying to output it in our template here and here so what we'll do is in addition to show extended we want to do and user dot age and user dot address Okay, so anything this UL, anything in this UL is only going to show if the show extended is true, which it is, and the current user, the current iteration has an age and an address. Now, uh, what was his name? David Jackson does not, so it shouldn't show the extended info for him. It should just show his name. So let's save this. And there we go. So now you can see it doesn't even attempt to show anything in here for David Jackson because his age and address is not included. So you can see we can make our templates very dynamic. And we haven't even gotten into events or, or buttons or inputs or anything like that yet. We're just dealing with properties in, in ng if and ng4. Now in the next video before we move on to like property binding and, and other stuff to do with Angular I want to show you how we can integrate Bootstrap uh, because this is this looks really ugly and I'd like to make it look a little better. Um, we'll add a little nav bar component and we'll just style this stuff up a little. I'm going to show you how to install Bootstrap along with its dependencies using NPM and then add the scripts through the Angular CLI JSON config file. All right, so we'll get into that next.